sisters. Good morning, Father. Welcome to St. Anthony's Church, Matuguda. St. Anthony is a powerful intercessor. He is a living saint. And we all receive his blessings and prayers for all our intentions day to day. Let us pray in a very special way that he may bless every one of us with good health of soul and body. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we have come here for the Holy Mass, let us admit all our failures all our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and strength not to yield again. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and, and sisters, to, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Head number 99B. 99B. <clears throat> Oh, 
in the name. Grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. For the first reading, kindly turn to page number 425 from the Old Testament. Page number 425. First reading is taken from the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verses 7 to 8, 12, 14 to 20. Let the work of this house of God alone, let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews rebuild this house of God on his side. Moreover, I make a decrease regarding what you shall do for these elders of the Jews for the rebuilding of this house of God. The cost is to be paid to these people in full and without delay from the royal revenue, the tribute to the provision beyond the river. Verses 12. May the God who have established his name their overthrow any king or people that shall put forth a hand to alter this or to destroy this house of God in Jerusalem. I, Darius, make a decrease, let it be done with all vigilance. Verses 14 to 20. So the elders of the Jews built and proposed through the prophesying of the prophet Hagi and Zechariah, son of Edo. They finished the building by command of the God of Israel and by decrees of Cyrus, Darius, the king, Atrix of Perisha. And this house was finished on the third day of the month of Adar, in the sixth year of the region of King Darius. The people of Israel, the priests and the levites, and the rest of the returned exile celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. They offered at the dedication of this house of God 100 bulls, 200 rams, 400 lambs, and as a sin offering for all Israel. 12 male goat according to the number of the tribes of Israel. Then they set the priest in their divisions and the levite in the courts for the service of God at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. On the 14th day of the first month, the returned exile kept the Passover for both the priest and the levites 
had purified themselves, all of them were clean. So they killed the Passover lamb for all the written exile, for the fellow priest and for themselves. The word of the Lord. नाम कीर्तन पाड़ी एडला नालुकना सिंधु सुनादा देवानी मही मन सुनी एडला हजरालु इंदु सुनादा
page 67 gospel according to saint luke chapter 8 to verses 19 to 21 gospel according to saint luke the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke the true kingdom of jesus then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as I have told you in the introduction, that we have such a powerful saint in our Catholic Church, and that too at Metuguida, we are very fortunate to have this great saint called Saint Anthony. So many people from morning 5 o'clock till evening and late night till 11.30, people from different parts of our state, they come and take his blessings. Day in and day out, people come and witness to us and saying that, Father, I would like to give you 10,000 rupees. I would like to give you 5,000 for this church. Why? Because St. Anthony has done a miracle in our life. Wonderful. It is so great that people are growing in faith. People are growing in trust. And dear friends, today, today, as we hear from the first reading about the continuation of the reconstruction of the temple in Jerusalem, yesterday, if you had, all if you had come for the Holy Mass, you might have heard how King Cyrus issues a decree saying that it is the God of Israel, God of the Jewish community, has, who has appointed me to be the king of this area, of this, of this region, has ordered me to tell you to allow all the Jews to go to Jerusalem and reconstruct the temple at Jerusalem. King Cyrus has realized that God of Jews is a living God. Yahweh is a living God. And it tells he gives, uh, per, he gives even the permission to all the Levites, all the priests and all the elders to go to Jerusalem along with gold and material to reconstruct the temple at Jerusalem. And today we hear one of his successors, King Darius, he continues the work of King Cyrus. He tells whoever is, uh, whoever is with the work, let his wages be paid promptly. Let all the elders of the community be honored. Let whatever they brought, gold, silver, whatever they have brought to reconstruct the temple be given and let them flourish. Because it is the order of King Cyrus and he wanted to continue. And the all together, the people of Israel who were led into exile because, because of their uh, unfaithfulness, now they begin to enjoy. Now they begin to live like the citizens of Jerusalem. But dear friends, our God is a God of mercy. At the same time, we cannot take our God for advantage. Ah, oh, my God is a God of forgiveness. My God is a God of love. Therefore, I go on committing sin of adultery. My God is a very good God. Therefore, I can continue to deceive people. I can speak lies. No, 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 no. Don't take our God for granted. He's a God of forgiveness. At the same time, He will take, He will call you for an account. He will call you for account. You have done this, you have done that. You have, you have hated my children. And you did this and that to my children. Therefore, he will call you for an account. Don't take him for granted. But at the same time, the one who repents, whoever he or she is a sinner, when he or she repents, he is ready to forgive. That is a unique quality of a Christian God, living God. That is what we have heard in today's first reading, my dear friends. On the other hand, the gospel reading gives us a beautiful message. 
Jesus was very busy. Thousands and thousands of people around him listening to his teaching and preaching. And it so happened his own mother, Mother Mary, and his cousin, not own brothers. Some Protestants are so foolish. They will try to argue about this passage. Oh, Jesus had many brothers. Mother Mary had few more children. They are stupid. Their cousin, his own cousin. Now, leaving that particular uh, aspect, someone came and told Jesus, Jesus, your mother and cousin, your brothers are waiting outside to see you. And Jesus makes use of this particular scene, this particular situation. He tells, he looks around his disciples, he looks around uh, and says, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? You know, she is my mother. He knows. He tells the people that she is my mother. Whoever listens to the word of God and whoever keeps the word is my mother. They are my brothers. Praise the Lord. Whoever listens to my word and keeps my word in their life, they are my mother and my brothers. On the other hand, he is telling his disciples, he is telling his apostles, saying that she is the one who heard my word. She is the one who heard the word of God. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Mary, you are going to conceive a son. You are going to conceive a son and you are going to give a Messiah to this world. What, she, what did she say? Let it be done unto me according to your word. She received the word, accepted the word and she did live according to the word. She is the one who received the word, who lived the word and lived and did according to the word of God. She is my mother. She, they are my brothers. Therefore, he looks at his disciples in particular and tells them, if you would like to be my mother, if you would like to be my brother, you must listen to my word. You must listen to my word. And if you want to be, to be my relative or my brother or sister or, or whatever you want to be in contact with me, you must listen to my word and keep the word in your life. And dear friends, today Jesus is also giving an open invitation to every one of us. What sort of invitation? Do you want to be my sister? Do you want to be my brother? Do you want to be my mother? Do you want to be my uh, children? He is giving an open invitation to every one of us. How can you be my relative? How can you be his brother? How can you be his mother? How can you be his father? Only when you listen to his word. Only when you keep his word. Then only you can become uh, a brother or a father or a mother. Look at St. Anthony's statue. Any non-Christian, any non-Catholic, whenever uh, he or she, when they come, without any knowledge of anything about Christianity or about any saint, any Tom, Dick and Harry will say, Are you St. Anthony might be his daddy. Mother Mary can be his mother. This particular he is Jesus, okay, his baby Jesus. And who is that big man? Maybe his daddy. Maybe his daddy. A non Catholic may not know, a non Christian may not know who is the saint, who is Saint Anthony. But you and me know that what a wonderful picture and what a wonderful image is giving. I have Jesus. Maybe Jesus wanted to linger in his arms. And how does he look? He's look he looks like a dad. He gives, an, he gives an image of a dad to the child. Dear friends, today it so happened that on one fine day in the evening, one particular person comes and tells me, Father, who is that priest? Who is that priest? Oh, okay, he's a priest. Are, what happened? No, Father, oh, he does not give good example to his children. Which is happening in America, some priests, they don't know how to treat the children. Therefore, I can't allow my children to uh, talk to that particular priest. He is misusing them. He is criticizing about the conduct of a priest. Today, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, St. Anthony will remind each one of you to be, to be a mother, to be a brother of Jesus. How can you be? There are so many children in and around our place. So many poor children. Come on, act like a parent to them. Children are in need of love of parents. Today, many parents don't love their children and they are thirsting for love. You as a person, 
looking at Saint Anthony, how lovingly he looks at Jesus, like a dad looking at a child. Today, Jesus reminds each one of you to be a person of love towards others. As we sing sometimes beautifully this particular hymn, what is that hymn? Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, you do unto me. Today is the day that you need to take a resolution. Even Pope Francis is uh, almost worried about the poor economy. The poor economy which is being harassed, which is harassing the poor community all over the world. You and me must take a stand to be a person of love, to be a father, to be a mother, to be a brother to others. Until and unless you have this, the word of love in your life, you can never, never become Christ person. We are all Christians, which means we belong to Christ. Only when you exercise the love of Christ towards others. Let us pray to the Lord for this great gift of love so that we may always be Christ person in our day-to-day -day life. Please take him number 205. 205. intention for Alinkya to get seat in college and to get job for Jyoti, good health, peace in the family by Jacinta, for good health of Bala Abhishek by Arugyam and Lodhimeri. Thanks for my special intention by Robert and family. Pray for the brothers and sisters that your sacrifice and mine be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Receive a Lord to pray the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Saint Anthony, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. And it is truly right and just that you get a salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of Saint, for the day dedicated to Saint Anthony, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen now by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching. 
and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord God of all. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be who comes in God's name. Holy is the Lord God of all. Heaven and the full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. He comes in the name. In the name of the Lord. He comes in the name. In the name of the Lord. In the name. In the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. This is the time, dear friends, brothers and sisters, God expresses His love through His Son, Jesus, in this great sacrifice of the Eucharist. So let us ask Him to fill our hearts with His love, to enable us to keep and preserve His Word and exercise, practice His Word in our daily life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis and to Mabala Arch, your bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Anthony, Saint Jude, Saint Sebastian, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through whom and with whom and in whom, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence to our Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Have mercy on us. Body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, only Catholics are allowed to receive communion. Kevala ma Christa ma Katholika matra me divya satprasada ni svikar chadani ke raavala yuno. So 
the needs of my brothers that you do unto me. When I was little, you brought me to reign. When I was lonely, you gave me your love. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When in a prison you came to my cell, when on a sick bed you cared for my need, now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever Hymn number 128, 128. I will give
year of faith prayer let us all pray together we adore you we worship you o most holy trinity the father the son and the holy spirit we thank you for the gift of faith given to us through your son our lord jesus christ may this year of faith called by pope emeritus benedict 16 be a time of grace and of anointing of the holy spirit may it be a time to turn to you with all our hearts and embrace the teachings of your holy catholic and apostolic church with renewed commitment may this year of faith be a time to strengthen our personal faith and to proclaim the message of salvation with joy and with deep conviction may it also give new impetus to the mission of the archdiocese of hyderabad and of the entire church which is to lead your people to a deeper friendship with christ strengthen us so god to have faith like that of mother mary to do your will in the power of the spirit through christ our lord amen most efficacious prayer to saint anthony please turn the page number 340 in the hymn book page number 340 let us all pray together o holy saint anthony the gentleness and kindness of saints your burning love god your exalted virtue and your great charity towards your fellow creatures made you worthy when on you to possess miraculous power such as were given to no other saint miracle waited on your word and that word you are ever ready to speak at the request of those in trouble the anxious prayer of bitter trial was never addressed to you in vain to the sick you gave back help you restored what was lost the sorrow stricken were the objects of your tender compassion even the dead you raised to life when the wounded heart cried out to you from the depths of his bitter anguish when on your nothing was impossible with you so have compassion on those in distress and sorrow encouraged by this thought and convinced of the efficacy of your holy intercession we kneel before your holy image and full of confidence we implore you to obtain for us please mention your request the answer to this our prayer may recur a miracle even so are you not the saint of miracles who when on earth had but to speak the mightiest wonders are wrought o gentle and loving saint anthony you whose heart was now full of human sympathy wish prayer our prayer into the ears of infant jesus who loved to linger in your arms one word from you and our prayer will be granted o oh, speak but that word and the gratitude of heart will ever be yours amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among the women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as, as it was at the, the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be well without to the end Saint Anthony pray, pray for, for us Saint Anthony pray for us Saint Anthony miracle worker pray for, pray for us. us let us pray may partaking at the heavenly table almighty god confirm and increase strength from on high in order to celebrate the day of saint anthony that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith 
and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master said it, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks Have a good day. Thank you, Father, and same to you. Hymn number 849, 849. Mama Mary, help me be open to let the light shine through me. Mama Mary, teach me obedience. 